comes Peter Schiff. He's a gold man, we all know that. He predicts an economic crash, but he says he is still investing in stocks. Come on on, Peter, because um, well, if all our viewers want to know, okay, what stocks are you buying? You know, I never stopped buying stocks. I've been buying them for years. I'm mostly buying international stocks, but I still have some stocks in the U.S. I have a lot of oil investments here. You notice oil prices are up 2% today, so it's a bigger yeah. move in the oil price than in the stock market. But, you know, it's important not to confuse rising asset prices with an economic yes. recovery. Okay, the U.S. economy is in no, a lot of on, trouble. Hold on, Peter. I'm sorry. I always interrupt you, and I'm very yeah. sorry about that. But our viewers want to know, what stocks... Specifically, what socks, stocks is Peter Schiff investing you, in? Go on. You see that you, you see that sign up on my on my top of my shoulder, your Pacific Capital. Call up and talk to my brokers. <laughs> Finra won't let me give out specific stock recommendations on television. Okay, but, but if you, you like, want to know the specific like stocks oil companies, we're buying, my you, brokers will tell you. Call them up. All right, <laughs> that's a commercial, and you know it. So you like oil companies? Well, but, but that's all I can do. <laughs> yeah, talk to the government yeah, yeah, regulators. Right. You got to pay for this. You like oil companies, and you like overseas companies that are listed overseas. Now, why do you like overseas companies, and which countries do you like? Yeah, well, I specifically like Southeast Asia. We have, we're over-invested in, in Singapore and Hong Kong. We also have money uh, in Australia, New Zealand, and Scandinavia, as some Latin America. We have money in, uh, in Chile, in, in Peru. But I like countries where I think that purchasing power is going to go up, where I think they're, they're, the currencies are going to gain against the dollar, where you have less regulation, lower taxes, uh, more legitimate economic growth, not just bubble blowing, which is all we have in the United States. You know, you keep hearing all this talk about, you know, uh, an exit strategy. I don't believe the Fed has an exit strategy. Uh, they're talking about tapering, but tapering isn't an exit. That's still growing the balance sheet. The Fed cannot shrink the balance sheet. They can't become the biggest seller of bonds and mortgages without collapsing the market. So I don't want to invest in countries that are based on an asset bubble. I know how badly that ends. Right. So I'm looking at, at places where there's legitimate economic growth, where they have less government and more opportunity. All right. We hear you. Peter Schiff, thank you very much indeed, sir.